We are launching a house of prayer between Detroit and, and Dearborn. And, we're, we're, and of course, that exploded in my spirit because the prayer movement sort of rising in America. And I believe his, tar his target of intercession in many ways is for the Muslims to know the love of Jesus. And we're going to Detroit. It's l the, the largest population of Muslims is right next to Detroit. We dare to believe that millions of Muslims are going to come to Christ as the church prays and goes with signs and wonders. Islam is in our face everywhere we turn. And here in America, this is the one place where it is most in our face right now. At 11, 11, 11, the Lord just clearly showed to us. He says, you've got to pray all night long. Because it's when the Muslims sleep, and all over the world right now, Muslims in the night are having dreams of Jesus. We believe that God wants to invade with his love. <laughs> Dearborn, with dreams of Jesus, and we're gathering together to say, God, pour out your grace and a revelation of Jesus all over Dearborn and the Muslim communities of North and South America. I think it's a crisis moment. We need to recognize that Islam itself is not just a religion. It is a totalitarian way of life. It's a legal system, Sharia law. It's a financial system. It's a moral code. It's a political system. It's a military system. It should not be protected under the First Amendment. I'm saying God, no, not here. America is saying, uh, uh, Muslims are saying by the year 2050, America is going to be Islamic nation. Something in my spirit says that is not an empty statement. It's actually a statement of spiritual intent. The church must raise up a house of prayer to contend with Islam. Raise up a 24-7 house of prayer. Muslim proclamations for 1,400 years have been fueling the demonic realm. Don't give us a generation like that who said, God, we have to have you or the Muslims are going to have their day. Give us the Muslims. Give us the strongholds of Islam. The gates of hell will not prevail.